channel. You know what time it is, no press fam. The beat down. Welcome everyone to another episode of The Beatdown, the segment and channel where two worlds collide. I am your host, Class. And as a friendly reminder, if you guys enjoy any of this content that we put out here, share, like, and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate you guys. And if you guys want to learn about the origins and the powers, abilities, and feats of these particular characters, you can find it down in the description below. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, why would we even do this episode? Well, we're doing this episode in honor of the announcement of Robert Downey Jr. coming back, but this time as a different character. This time, not a hero, but a villain, Victor Von Doom. With that being said, let us begin. In this corner, there is no one who hates Superman more than this guy. I'm talking, of course, Lex Luthor. All right, so let's get into the end game. Okay, so let's start off with his war suit should not be counted out. It has the capabilities of regenerating itself during a fight, meaning it could take Lex to the distance as it doesn't seem to have an off switch when it comes to building itself after being taken apart. So that means it's just going to be constantly regenerating any uh, mechanical parts that it gets destroyed during a fight against Dr. Doom, which means eventually that's going to probably take a toll on the boy. Another option is he can use his cunningness and trick Doom into putting his armor down for a uh, non-weapons brawl. Doom might take the bait as he thinks himself almost unbeatable even in this vulnerable state and then bust out the gloves during the fight and use that to sucker punch Doom and ultimately put him down before he can come up with any conjuring spells tricks. Uh, the gloves I'm referring to are the ones that old school comics has where he is putting the hurt on Superman himself. Just so we're clear. Uh, prep time seems to favor Lex more as he is confident he's a confident guy when it comes to that uh, but he always likes to have a fail safe or a backup plan to his original in case it goes south he also sometimes with the time already has the perfect weapon to vanquish any foes such the case being dr doom for this instance so what i mean is let's say he is in a situation where he is met with no prep time or he knows the threat's coming but he has to re he has to think quickly he's going to have a lot of con contingency plans in order to surprise doom during a fight because obviously he knows he's going to fight somebody with a superior brain and he's fought characters like that like gorilla grod gorilla grod and such but then the other example is that if he had the time if he had the time to learn about doom yeah doom's going to have problems with that because obviously lex is a brilliant man and he will be able to eventually calculate an idea a brilliant plan to go against someone of uh, dr doom's genius i would say um wild card lex can call the cavalry if the pressure gets to him from characters like i don't know brainiac and bizarro to assist him to get him out of a jam he is i believe the father of bizarro so yeah he could call him for that and he helped brainiac gain increase his intelligence so yeah he could technically call him up for help and assistance if he needs to all right so if he levels up to apex lex there really isn't any armor or magic suit strong enough to hold off against the might of a multiverse level power up. Uh, Perpetua provided juice to Lex who is the, a fifth dimensional being if you didn't already know. In this form alone he was able to take a countless, he was able to take on countless Justice League members across the multiverse. Doctor Doom would have his work cut out for him. That's for damn sure. So, I mean, if he's able to take on several Justice League members, you got to keep that in mind. These guys are like almost god being cosmic level being threats themselves. Superman is one of those heavy hitters alone. So to say that Lex Luthor can take them all out and then go to another universe and take out those Justice League members and so on and so forth, that's saying something. So as long as he's got that perpetual power juice up in his corner and he's Apex uh, Lex and he has the Martian Man Manhunter's capabilities, yeah, I'm going to say that Dr. Doom doesn't stand a chance and Lex Luthor will claim the victory on this one. And on this corner, I'm just going to say there is only Doom. Dr. Victor Von Doom. All right, so let's get into the end game. He has taken up way more cosmic level beings than Lex has. 
You can make the case Superman is really all anyone needs to prove cosmic level flex, but Doom's feat is a step up given its different set of levels like the Watcher and Galactus he's possessed their powers from. Um, he comes more prepared in an in and out of nowhere battle. Considering his magic capabilities, his armor's impressive endurance to hit levels like Celestials, and his reaction experience dealing with four members at a time to the one member comparison Luther has. Yeah, you, you, I mean, prep time wise, Doom, Dr. Doom is ready. Like, if he if he's out of nowhere getting into a fight, he's already got the weaponry he needs in order to take Lex down. Lex needs to, like, gear up, like, multitudes of levels compared to Doom if he were just to come out of nowhere and be like, yo, let's fight. Um, his magic knowledge provides infinite amount of possibilities from sending them to another dimension, uh, making weapons that seem unstoppable into Play-Doh. Uh, there's just um, so much magic bends uh, that rules uh, our normal realities, meaning that magic doesn't have like a it doesn't have like exact like complete needs to follow science to a teeth. It does have its own capabilities of bending the rules of it. So, yeah, it's just too much, especially since Victor Von Doom has an, a, li a library of knowledge of that. Yeah, it's it screams Doom for uh, for for uh, Lex Luthor. <laughs> Pardon the pun. <laughs> Dr. Doom uh, on the regular fights way more fighters than Lex Luthor does. While Lex has to focus on fighting one might, Doom has taken on the might of four powered up beings, and each of them providing some form of almost cosmic level power or intellect. This implies Doom would know how to maneuver around Lex Luthor more easily given he is the only one man. And let's not forget, this man, Dr. Doom was able to dodge Mjolnir, who is Thor's hammer, and that thing can go super, super fast. So let's keep that in mind when it comes to reflexes. His mind is faster than a supercomputer. Sorry, faster than a computer. A supercomputer, supercomputer, whatever, it's still crazy. For the love of Thor's hammer time. That's my joke, get it? For the love of Thor's hammer time? Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, enough said, there are, am I right? So, how do you defeat a supercomputer man with the limited time you have? Simple response is, you don't. Uh, if he's got a supercomputer brain, there's no way you're going to be able to outmatch his intellect when it comes to a fight. And even if you guys ran out of weapons, Dr. Doom's still going to be able to outsmart you. Um, outlasting him in space, Lex Luthor has an impressive armored suit, but let's throw a curveball and say he battles Doom in space, a away from the cl uh, closest tech recovery room or uh, medical assistance, and suffers severe armor damage, or is in physical pain himself. Does it... Uh, does it have the necessary equipment to keep Luther alive after the ordeal or even being able to keep him going? And then you have Doom Suit that has its own life support, meaning in a jam, and he can rely on his suit to keep him alive in the vacuum of space as long as he needed until he comes up with a way to survive after the battle, once taking out Luther and outlasting him, of course. And of course, he has magic to help him heal, as he's shown against fighting against Scar in the comics and recovering his arm. Um, he will, he has more going for him than Lex does when you factor in the supercomputer brain that could come in handy during a fight and pinpoint weaknesses or come up with the tool to bring your opponent down. He's got, he's got an armor strong enough to hold off the celestial blast, and that's not even mentioning his shielding, which also provides enough flair um, <clears throat> of a defense and finally his sorcery is plenty enough to give that edge to finish him off his magic provides extra patenting in either defense or offense granting Victor Von Doom the satisfying W but as always no press fam it's not up to me it's up to you guys so if you guys liked either one of my arguments you know what you can do you can hashtag Dr. Doom, or you can hashtag Lex Luthor. As always, no press fam, we really appreciate you guys keeping it 500 subs. Peace. Shout out to all my content supporters. We're not working together, but we like to give credit where credit is due. Ivan the Unstoppable for all the knowledge of comic feats. Watch Mojo for Origins and for all the background videos. Comic Historian, Comics Explained, and Key Issues. Go ahead and check them out. 
and tap into the world of comics by supporting other creators. Link to channels will be in the description below.